Okay, so let's talk about Knock at the Cabin. We just got the latest trailer and some images for this movie. Before we get any further into it, we are currently trying to find our horror film. You can check out the Indiegogo down below. We have a couple of days left in order to get to that goal. Pretty far away from that goal, but right now, but we can definitely get there. So make sure you go over to the Indiegogo, share it. Anything you can do helps a lot. We do have a winner for the giveaway. We'll announce that tomorrow. We're going to do a live today, but a lot of time. Maybe we'll do it tonight. I don't know. We'll see. So stay tuned for that in the community post. Make sure the notification bell is on. But let's talk about Knock at the Cabin and its latest trailer. So this is based on a book called The Cabin at the End of the World and basically follows the same premise. Um, I have looked into the book and everything and seen what it's about. So I'm not going to really give any spoilers about that because there's some spoilers out there which presumably could happen in the movie. But knowing M. Night Shyamalan, he might just pull some twists and turns that we didn't see coming. So Knock at the Cabin, basically, it's premise from the trailers and everything we know. You have this couple who have an adopted daughter. They're at the cabin and I out of nowhere a knock at the cabin and you have these four individuals who come and they're pretty much say we didn't know each other before this we didn't know what was going to happen but we all had the same visions that your family had to come and do a sacrifice in order to prevent the apocalypse every time that you say no or you like linger on the fact of what you're going to do more and more people die by the thousands of course you're going to think these people are crazy they don't know what they're talking about you see people actually having these seismic events that are wiping people out like the tsunami is one that we see in this trailer so now we're thinking wait is there really an apocalypse going on or what is going on um, throughout the whole trailer as well there's this sort of disbelief from the parents as well as to what exactly is happening if there is even anything remotely bad or is this real or like what is happening they're in a total disarray about everything and they just want to find the truth so this trailer i think gave a little bit more than it should have we start to see that there is this uh point in a trailer where we're going to see the parents eventually get out of the um, strangers uh, like grips and everything uh, at a point we see one of the strangers as well he's hooded and i believe that's the character played by rupert grint who i believe in the book is called redmond and so we see that character now with a hood on his uh, head like sort of he's going to be sacrificed or something like that so i'm curious to see what exactly is going to happen i have not really read the book but i do plan on doing so before the movie is out and talking about that so i probably get into that in the next week or two so stay tuned for that when we talk about the book and its ending and everything that happens in it as we get ready for this movie that is due in february so i'm excited for it and cannot wait but this new trailer really did i feel make me have more questions than i did from the first trailer because i really was wondering throughout the whole um first trailer if this is real or not but now looking at this new trailer and seeing that footage that they're showing the people where you actually see some people actually getting drowned in the tsunami and everything has me questioning is this really an apocalypse happening right now in the background you also see a plane falling down as the couple are escaping and you wonder is this really an apocalypse situation like is this really some divine intervention that these uh, four individuals are trying to do in order to stop whatever is about to rain down on the earth or is this clever trickery afoot because as we know M. Night Shyamalan loves to do these twists I mean if you know movies like The Village, The Sixth Sense, all of that now the only thing is this is based on pre-existing work so I don't know if he's following that book to a T or if he is going to switch things up in the round because if you are somebody who I always think this with adaptations do they follow it to a T and everybody who knows the work already knows what they're getting into or do you change it up a bit just to give that element of surprise sometimes the surprise is good sometimes it's not especially if the work in itself is already very well done like I said I have not read the book I plan to do so pretty soon and just just give my thoughts and opinions on it as well so stay tuned for that we'll probably turn into like a book talk of sorts so it should be fun and interesting but the book is called the cabin at the end of the world if you want to check it out as well and i will be checking it out for sure but this trailer alone just gave me more hope for this movie i was already excited with that first trailer i think it's a very well done trailer now i know that a lot of people are a little bit hesitant when it comes to m night Shyamalan, especially with the most recent movie he did old which like I said, that, that was a good trailer and everything, but once we got down to it, I don't know what to say. So I'll just leave it at that. This one, however, I'm pretty excited for it. You have Dave Bautista, you have Rupert Grint, and many others in here who I think are great actors. Rupert Grint, go check him out in Severance, which is something else done by M. Night Shyamalan, which is currently on its final season that comes out next month. 
it's going to change the way you look at Rupert Grimm because I think he does a phenomenal job in that uh, series right there. And I'm excited that he's uh, branching out more into uh, theatrical roles again. Um, it had been a while, I think, since I've seen him in anything theatrical. So I'm excited to see him in that. He was great in Severance on TV and all of that. So very excited to see what comes from this as well. But let me know your thoughts, your opinions on knock at the cabin what do you think now what are your theories what are your thoughts what is going on is there really an apocalypse going on is this clever um trickery afoot from these four individuals now i've read from the, uh some of the people who've read the book and everything that the book really does manipulate you as well as you're reading it into asking the question is this real is this not are these people really playing tricks on them and there's some um interesting developments so i'll talk more about those in another video i don't want to give too many spoilers here i just want to talk about the trailer we got today on christmas day and very excited to see what comes from it so anyways as always that's going to do it for me make sure that you are subscribed make sure notification bells on we're going to hold the live where we're going to announce the winner probably tonight so stay tuned for that or tomorrow I i'll let you know in the community post uh we're still going to uh, have to pick someone on there um, but also we are still funding our movie so go ahead and hit that link below for the indiegogo to check out how to support us on there as well and it would really mean a lot we are a couple of days away from that so really would love if you go out there and check out the indiegogo but as always that is going to do it for us i'll see all of you next time make sure you follow us on all our social medias we are planning to do a lot of different stuff. we still have our best list coming out our favorite movies horror movies comic books all that good stuff uh in this coming week it's it's the week of countdowns that's what i'm going to call it uh this week for sure so stay tuned for that and we have a lot of more announcements as to where our channel is going our website and all of that and it's going to be good stuff good stuff so stay tuned uh 2022 was such a great year we grew a lot we had a lot of people coming over we had a lot of views a lot of different um videos that were fun lives all that and 2023 is going to be even bigger so stay tuned for that but as always i'll see all of you next time let me know your thoughts and opinions on knock at the cabin have you read the book or not no spoilers but let me know down below if you have we're going to be picking it up pretty soon we'll probably make a vlog and everything about it so stay tuned for that because that's coming more as well vlogs so stay tuned but as always i'll I'll see all of you next time. Stay safe. Stay positive.